So how am I going to do G prime of four? It's just zero. So, I get that. Um, because when the graph of F is at four, it's a zero. All right. So you're saying here, what does G prime of X mean? It's just F of X. Yeah. Uh, G prime is just F. Should we figure out G double prime? Since the next question says G double prime. Uh, G yeah, double prime is going to be that slope. Yeah, it's just a slope of the curve. Um, then how do we know if it has a min, a max, or neither at x equals 1? Uh, if you look at like the, the actual like positive and, positives and negatives of the graph, if we're looking for a minimum, it has to go from the negative area of the graph to, sorry, yeah, the negative area of the graph to the positive area of the graph at that point. Right. So at x equals 1, what do you see on the graph? Negative to yeah. positive. Okay. At x equals 1, mm -hmm. f goes from negative to positive. Does that affect g, though? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, because uh, g prime is f. So that means yeah. instead of f goes, that's the same thing as g prime. Mm -hmm. And so if it goes, if G prime goes from negative to positive, that means G has a min at X equals one. Great. Um, what about the next one? So let's start. It says, given that G of five is two, find G of 10. What do you notice about this graph? It's kind of like a, like sine or cosine graph. And you say that because what? It's rep a repeating pattern. It's the repeating pattern. That's critical. Because G of 5 is 2 would mean that G of 10 is what? 2. 2. 4. 4. 2 of them. Because it's happening again. So it's 2 plus a 2. So G of 10 is 2 g of fives which is two times two or four so how do you think we're going to figure out g of 108 i would um i since it goes in like fives i yes. would divide it by five to get it down and then like i would divide it the 108 by five and then take out like the decimal part and whatever it is times that by five minus it uh take it against 108 and then so, find whatever the tangent line is in the graph i like what you said but i'm just gonna say i'm gonna break it down to like let's start at 105 right because that's what you're saying and then like what's the remainder how much more do we have to go yeah yeah how much more do we have to go from g of 105 three great so what is g of 105 21, right? 21 of them? Yeah. Yep. So it's 2 times 21, right? Because it's 2 every time and we're doing 21 of them. And then how do we find G of 3? Uh, work backwards from, so if we know that G of 5 equals 2, you can work backwards from there, subtract or add how much area you get underneath that curve. We could also just look at the graph and see where what g equals at three i think that's a great idea so we want to find it at three right it's a two 